What on earth is going on? Why haven't you told me anything? Alessandra screams at me while we're on our way to the shipping yards. I haven't told her as much as I should have already, and I'll admit that. But I knew how much she would fight with me regardless. If I need anything from her, it's for her to not fight with me. I'm already mentally exhausted, thinking of how to accomplish this for the last few months, and there were so many opportunities for error. We could even be caught before we're on the ship, but we won't know until that happens. I quickly glance over to her, silently pleading for her to stop, just for her to trust me, but it's no use. She's always asked questions since the day she was born. You just have to trust me, Alessandra, please. Just trust me as your sister that what I'm doing for us is right, that it will help us. Please. Tears well in my eyes as I beg her, and for the first time in a very long time, she doesn't ask me a question. She simply nods her head. I know this has something to do with father. It's obviously drawn across your face. I'm not a stupid girl, Caprice. I know that your relationship with him isn't good, but why are you dragging me into this? I think of the ways that I should reply to her, of how I can sugarcoat it and try to protect her memory of him as much as possible. While I love my sister, I hate my father, and I'd love nothing more than to rip the love she has for him away, but that would be selfish of me. I'm taking us far away from father, far enough away to where, hopefully, he will never find us or do the things to you that he's done to me. I don't want that for you. I don't want you to have to experience the same pain and struggle that I have at his hand. You deserve more than that, Alessandra. We both do. We deserve so much more. We had dropped off at the shipping yard in no time, and thankfully, through a friend of a friend, we are able to board a shipping container and make our grand venture across the Atlantic. It will take days, but it was the only way to get us out of the country without some sort of record. It will simply look like we vanished, and that's the only thing that will ensure our safety. The accommodations in the container aren't the most luxurious, but we don't need anything fancy. We just need to stay alive, far away from our father. We've been on this boat for a week, a week worth of headaches and seasickness, and today is the day that we should arrive in Dublin, Ireland, our new home. Alessandra hasn't asked too many questions. It's obvious that she sees the emotion and stress this is taking on my body. I haven't acted like myself in a few days. I'm sure once we dock and get off the boat, I'll start feeling better. Will you tell me what the plan is? I mean, I don't want to bother you by asking you, but I need to know what's going on. I take a deep breath, pulling my cardigan closer to my body. We're going to dock within the next couple of hours, hopefully, and from that point, you and I will go to a studio apartment that I have secured for us in downtown Dublin. We'll rest, and then I need to find a job. I think I'll walk around town and see what I can get as a bartender or a waitress job, something that won't mind paying in cash. I get up and walk over to where our few duffel bags are, unzipping one and pull out passports and cash. We have enough to get us through the first month and a half at least, but I need to find work if we're going to stay ahead of everything. Alessandra closes her eyes and inhales deeply. I don't understand what is happening, Caprice, and for the life of me, I am trying to understand. I know you ask me to not ask you questions, but I need to know. Please tell me what it is that we're doing why we've smuggled our way out of the United States to Ireland. Father arranged a marriage for me to Sergei Kolosov. He's a Russian arms dealer, one who was notorious for harming his wives. He is an animal who slaughters people for the hell of it, just because he can. The moment I am with this, Sergei, you'd be put in my place, doing what I have done for years. Her brows furrow in confusion as she tries to put the pieces together. 